My name is Katie Rosenbaum and I am a senior research scientist with the Center for Child and Family Policy. And one of the things that I do in that role is teach the capstone course for the Child Policy Research Certificate Program. And in that course, I work with students to turn their independent research into products for a wide variety of audiences, learning how to translate their work into actionable change in the, in the world around them. And what I decided teaching that course was we need a lot more chances for students to have this real world connection for how research turns into actionable change. And that's one of the reasons that I created this new course in early childhood collaborative research where you can work with a community organization to answer a question that they have and give them the tools they need to create that change with their organization and the community they serve. So the title of our project is the implementation of an early childhood education apprenticeship program in North Carolina. And we are working with the client um, Child Care Services Association, um, also known as CCSA. And really, they do a lot of stuff. Um, so really, their mission is to make sure that all children, um, especially in North Carolina, which they're focused on, um, have access to high quality and affordable um, early childhood care and education. CCSA asked us to look into existing apprenticeship models in the field of early childhood education across the country um, and specifically they wanted us to look into what an apprenticeship model could look like for advanced deg degree seekers, associate's degree or bachelor's degree seekers in North Carolina. And an apprenticeship program in the field of early childhood education really involves uh, mentoring components in classroom learning as well as practicum style learning. So apprenticeships in the field of early childhood education uh, involve working simultaneously while you are taking your courses to fulfill the degree. This course gives the students a chance to learn about how do I translate what I know to a general audience? How do I communicate the research that I've done in such a way that it can actually be used on the ground and put into action right away. And the students are able to create a number of different products for their client. So they create a written document, maybe a policy brief or a paper, a report, um, and they also do a presentation. So they have an interactive chance to present their findings, present their ideas, answer questions, have that give and take with the client to be sure they're responsive to the client's needs. From our literature review and the informant interviews that we conducted, we were able to gain a much stronger understanding of kind of the current landscape of existing early childhood education apprenticeship programs um, that are operated in other states. We spoke to um, people who worked in seven other states and then we were also able to kind of get a better understanding of what apprenticeship looks like in North Carolina specifically and what guidelines exist here, what guidelines exist on the federal level. Um, and so we were able to kind of combine both of those to craft a proposal for what our partner CCSA could use. So the team at CCSA um, hopefully will be able to use what we've produced to be part of future grant proposals or um, when they go to the North Carolina legislature to sort of convince them that early childhood education is a really important cause that we need to invest public dollars into. And so our work will hopefully provide a really strong basis for these future discussions and bringing a early childhood education apprenticeship model to North Carolina. So it's a wonderful process over an entire semester of the students talking with the clients, understanding what that client's question is and what that client's um, problems, what, the, what problems they're trying to address in the real world. Coming up with a methodology for themselves. How am I going to address this? What data do I need? What literature review do I need to do? Uh, what policy information do I need? What informants do I need to talk to to learn more about this so that I can understand what things are like in the real world on this topic? And then they get to pull all of that information that they have learned together into these 
products for the client that offer analysis, that offer policy solutions, that offer review of the existing literature, and that can then respond to that client's needs for answers to their questions. And those clients can then immediately apply that work to what they are doing in the real world, can take those solutions, take those practice changes, take those policy ideas, talk to their boards, their constituents, their stakeholders, and think about ways to integrate that into what they're already doing.